Today I wanted to talk about the process of cellular respiration. This picture of, of preserves and uh, various other types of pickles uh, kind of is emblematic of the processes we're going to talk about today. The photosynthesis is used by plants to produce a lot of these large compounds which it stores in these structures that uh, when we harvest these plants and we store these materials in jars various bacteria and other organisms living on these plants as well as some of the chemicals we add pickle these plants and change their texture and uh, flavors in ways that we like that when we eat these foods we break them down in the process of sending the respiration to get uh, energy for our functions in our cells just uh, to recap that in these food chains either on land or in the ocean you have a number of autotropes, these producers that make their own food, and heterotropes, these consumers that eat other organisms to get their nutrients. That if we consider the processes of photosynthesis and respiration, in photosynthesis, cells make their own food using light energy. That in cellular respiration, you take these compounds, these large carbon compounds like glucose, and break them down to their component molecules in doing so the energy that is stored in these compounds is trapped in your cells as ATP which you can then use for your own processes. So, keeping this diagram in mind, if we look at organisms in an ecosystem that plants are taking in various molecules like carbon dioxide from their environment using that along with light energy to produce sugars which then are eaten by uh, these producers which then break them down to make carbon dioxide again. And carbon here is continually being cycled in an environment. Therefore, this process of cellular respiration is carried out by all eukaryotes. It's uh, found mostly located in the mitochondrion. In a series of stages, these large carbon compounds, these organic molecules, are broken down to CO2, and ATP is made along the way. So you find these uh, processes both in animal and plant cells. If we consider what's going on here, we're looking at the cycling of carbon, carbon dioxide from the environment combined with various other materials to produce large carbon compounds, these carbohydrates, glucose here for example, shown that when we break these sugars down, we create the waste product carbon dioxide. Again, all of these processes are interdependent upon each other and their materials cycle through the environment constantly. Let us consider the process of cellular respiration itself. A carbon compound in the presence of oxygen is broken down in a series of steps to give you carbon dioxide and as a waste product, water. Then, this carbon compound here loses its energy in the form of its electrons and is broken down to give you carbon dioxide. The electrons, when their energy has been used to make ATP, are then given to oxygen, which along with some hydrogens is converted to water, the waste product. If we compare the processes of photosynthesis and respiration, we can see that they are fundamentally different, that photosynthesis serves to make large molecules for storage, that uh, these large molecules are then broken down when needed in the process of respiration to make ATP. Uh, photosynthesis found in the chloroplasts, respiration in the mitochondrion, and as before, the energy source used is different in photosynthesis from that being made in respiration. In the first stage of cellular respiration, you have a large glucose molecule with six carbons broken in half. This process is anaerobic, that is, it does not require oxygen, but only a small amount of ATP is made here. The main, uh, the largest amount of ATP is made in the second stage where the carbon compounds that have been made are broken down fully to give you carbon dioxide as well as uh, combining with oxygen to make a waste product that is water. Here, the, a large amount of ATP is made, about 34 ATP per glucose molecule that you begin with. With oxygen, Glucose can be broken down in a series of steps, giving you ATP along each stage, as well as waste products of CO2 and water. But if oxygen is not present, then you need to uh, generate energy and other materials for the cell 
in a different way. So cells resort to a process of anaerobic respiration, also known as fermentation, when oxygen is not present. That this process up here cannot continue for long if oxygen can, is not present, and therefore the cell takes drastic action to continue its life cycle. There are a couple of different types of fermentation. The first, lactic acid fermentation, is a process we exploit. There's a number of bacteria carry this out that uh, we use this to, for example, drop the pH in milk and change the, uh, the properties of cabbage as well as dairy to make a variety of foods that uh, animals carry out this process in their cells as well when, let's say, under conditions of exercise, oxygen is not present. That the buildup of lactic acid in muscles during exercise is what causes the burning feeling. Alcoholic fermentation, on the other hand, is used by human society to produce, for example, alcoholic beverages like beer and wine, as well as to cause bread to rise because carbon dioxide is a, a byproduct of this process. There are actually a variety of foods that are made using these uh, processes, including soy sauce, cheese, yogurt, beer, wine, and bread. All processes which harness the process of fermentation or anaerobic respiration to change the textures of molecules to make them more palatable for us. In summary, the process of photosynthesis and cellular respiration cycle a variety of materials, including carbon compounds, through the environment. That uh, the process of photosynthesis stores energy in large carbon molecules, whereas respiration breaks these down into carbon dioxide. The process of cellular respiration it requires oxygen to be present. It takes place in the mitochondria and uh, creates carbon dioxide as a byproduct. The oxygen is broken down and converted to water, which is the product, a waste product. If oxygen were not present, anaerobic respiration or fermentation takes place instead. That there are two types, lactic acid fermentation or alcoholic fermentation, that we harness both of these processes to make a variety of foods and other products for human society.